Hello, Fology fans, King Fan 2002 here with another video, and this will be another toy review today. And I will be presenting you with the Ultra 500 series Red King. Yes, a five inch figure, a really cool figure, too. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this review, guys. Um, so let's start off with the detail. Well, I don't need to go off with the history, really. Just check out um um Ultraman Cronus's review. This is like um Super Raya's most popular monster, pretty much, or like part of their big five. Like I consider their big five to be um Gamora, Red King, Ella King, Zeton, and hold up, hold up. Red King, Gamora, Ella King, Zeton, and I'm missing one. Oh my gosh. No. Damn it, whatever. Um, alright. So, yeah, let's get on with this review. I like to call this guy the Corn Monster. He appears in like episode 10 or 12, I can't remember, or 8, it's one of those, in the original series. And it's called the Lost Monster Zone, where he fights like a lot of monsters. It's basically like Monster Island for Ultraman. Um, let's get on with the detail. Um, with the corn on the cob monster, as you can see, why I'm calling him it. Like he has like all these like corn like bumps all over him. It's really cool and funny at the same time. Um, yeah, he even has it in his arms and all that stuff. And in the smallest details are like on his face. You can see that. Well, if you can, you can barely like see it over there. So yeah, the details like he's very, very detailed because he's like a corn on the cob monster, like I said before. Um, paint job is like Red King with paint job wise, like it's really weird because like in one of the figures. And it's a figure that I was like gonna pick at G pick up at G Fest. It was like the um lime green one with like the aqua and sea green blues and all that stuff in sea green. All that um Ultraman Chronos has. It was like but it was like more um aqua green and all that stuff on it, which is really cool. I was gonna get it, but I passed it for um something else. And yeah, so that is it for that. Um, I got this guy for like, well, it was a gift from my aunt. I got it for like, well, well yeah, I, well, I don't know what it's called, but I got it for like $7. Yeah, that's a good thing with like the Ultra 500 series figures. They're not as good as like the original 6 inch figures, but they're still pretty cool figures and you can get them for like cheap, very cheap prices, which I also got one. I ordered one yesterday, like I said before, for like $4, so I'm getting a figure, a really cool monster for $4, that is cool. Alright, so articulation, um, both arms rotate 360, like you can see right there, one, this arm is stiffer than the other, because this one moves better, um, I don't know why they did this, but, like, the legs don't move. They only can, like, squish together, which is annoying to me. Like, very annoying. Um, and, of course, the tail rotates 360. There is a glue seal, um, right around here. I was gonna break it. Like, you see that? I don't know how to break them, though. So, yeah. Um, because all I have to do is, like, break this middle part, and then... I would be able to rotate the um, waist, which would be weird but cool, I guess. All right, so the paint job, like I said before, um, paint job is weird, but it's I think it's like the most accurate Red King paint job there is right now. Um, oh, not really. There's like this other six-inch Bandai version that's better, just slightly, because this guy is like too light. And he has like all these like random blue spots on his hand and his face, which is weird. But they, I think they based this guy off of the Ultraman Max suit of this guy, which is also my favorite suit of him. So now let's give him, let's get, 
some quick comparisons. First off, let's pair him up with Godzilla 2000. So, um, this is my mom box of Godzilla 2000. Um, this is accurate. This is actually accurate. Yeah. From if I can get this in frame, as you can see right there. This is very accurate. Um, let me go get another bigger real quick. Alright. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're, this is going to be kind of weird because it's like a homage to like this um, show on YouTube that I really like to watch. Next we have the Final Wars Angerous. Very good. This very cool um, size comparison. Y'all see why I'm comparing um, them to Red King. And then I'm bringing out Final Wars Rodan. And now if you get what I just did there, um, take a look. If you can see what this is supposed to be. Can you take a guess? Put, put in the comments if you know what this is supposed to be. If you can take a guess of what I'm um, bringing a homage to. Uh, if not, can you guess? No? Alright. And now I'm going to pair Red King up with Junior like I did in the last review. Very, very good sizing. Very cool if you want to do like a movie of that. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Um, sorry about that, guys. And of course, um, let's pair him up with Ultraman. He did not fight this Ultraman, but still, it's my only Ultraman figure. My Ultraman figure. Um, so yeah, very cool. You can like fight with him. Uh, uh, Alright, so sorry about that guys. I'm going to have to wrap this review up because I'm running out of time. I'll probably post another review today after this one. So, yeah, that is it for this review. I will give this figure a 7.5 out of 10 just because it's like not my type of size figure, but still really cool. Um, detail is very, very good. Um, amazing. It's great. Um, paint job is weird, and so and articulation is eh. It only has three points. So that is it for this review, guys. Um, King Goes Fan 2002 signing out. Stay Big G fans. Have a nice day.